Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. We have a very special guest tonight. Please welcome, for the first time on the podcast, uh, actress, musician, Haley Law, and the music moniker is Halo. Thanks for coming. Oh my God, thank you for having me. So how are you holding up during this? Uh, there's a big strike, huh? I'm um, going on with uh, SAG and AFTRA and the Writers Guild, huh? Yeah, there's a, there's a yeah. strike, and um, I'm just I'm just happy that we are angry and mm-hmm. people hoping. are picketing for people, real. Yeah, I went this morning. You did? Yeah. And so what's the ca- what's the causation? Is it because of fair wages? Like it, streaming is getting involved yeah. now, right? I think there's so many things, and. Um, the contracts that we've been working with for so long are for a different time and streaming is not even in play with what we're you know working Trying with and right right now we need to we need to have an up-to-date contract that with makes today's sense. um totally. technology totally, and totally. yeah because it's the same thing with uh spotify you don't yeah. you know what i mean yeah they totally just be Playing your stuff here, there, and then yeah. Um, so do you, they're not being very fair, are they? No, no way. But I think that this is a really crazy moment that will be taught in in schools. future. Like, yeah, like oh, I think really? I think I really think that as far as workers' compensation, yeah, in in more industries than just film, I think right. UPS is apparently going to strike. Really? Yeah, I think everyone's so why like is it had enough. A robots maybe taking their job. Like I hope not. I haven't AI? looked into it. I haven't looked into it, but I hope not. But yeah, I'm sure that that. So do you think that robots or AI are going to eventually start taking acting jobs or writing writing jobs? For sure. That's what the, I mean, that's what we're fighting for. That's what yeah, we're fighting for. Yeah, because they could come up with their own schemes. and. I know, but then right. it's not going to be good. It isn't, right? It's really not going to be good. It's going to be garbage. I mean, I'm sure you could do it with like poems or something yeah. if they could rearrange like the structure Just of a, a couple, poem. Yeah, totally. But for a story that's so complicated and, mm-hmm. you know, there's l- so many layers. We need some soul to it. There, yeah, and there's no soul in a robot. Yeah. yeah. Um, we have a, she was on Riverdale, so we have a Riverdale actress here. Um, um, what was that like? I mean, I mean, because you're from Canada, right? Yeah, I'm Let's from get Canada. that out of the Yeah, yeah. Let's so, just get that out of the Yeah, Canadian. The elephant Canada in the room. represent <laughs> Vancouver. Yeah, Vancouver. Have you been there? Yeah. Did you like it? Um, I had a, it was just, it was brief, but I had a great time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the coffee shop. Yeah, it was. Yeah, there's good coffee. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had Vancouver's a good time. Vancouver's got good yeah. coffee. Uh-huh. Um, that was a long time. I mean, not, I don't mean like, that was a long time. Yeah. Ago. Like, it was a different life, but um, that was like s- almost seven years ago. Yeah, but you did it. And I did it, and it what was really that process totally like? changed my life. Yeah. I actually um didn't have any that was the first acting job i had mm-hmm. done i i did do a mcdonald's commercial where you saw my forearm That's what's yeah up. that that right there mm-hmm. that was the move too it was just like it was just that yeah and that was it and i thought my god i'm famous now i did a mcdonald's too back in the day did you but they, they cut me out yeah they cut me out of a uh, kodak one t- yeah i got well, cut out. they several. need to bring us back i think what well, will they pay me i got a star- starburst back in the day oh yeah yeah and That's i just because i just had to make a sour face mm-hmm. and then the and they pick it was either me or the other Asian guy. <laughs> insert the yeah, photo insert. here. Um, it was pretty petty though. I my hair was more like Bruce Lee. That's why they picked me over oh, the other guy. Oh. So it was really petty. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. who cares? You got the job. Yeah, there you go. That's, a, that's, a, that's how it goes. Uh, what about you? I mean, but do you think it's kind of like that? It could be just something. I like her hair. Or yeah, I like for sure. The I way think she looked at that tree. Yeah, yeah I definitely like think some things. Commercial. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah, commercial. Yeah, it's more. It's more yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, I've I've definitely had. I didn't have very much success with commercials. But you got Riverdale. But then I got Riverdale, yeah, so I don't right. really care about the commercials. But I um, mean, don't you think? Because commercials, I, I didn't want to compare it to, com- but 
what yeah. you, the Riverdale, you kind of like, like, yeah, you kind of, yeah, it you kind of Trump that. I, I also world. didn't know it was, um, I thought it was just a one day like job. I didn't know it was a, like an extra. I just thought it was a one. I didn't know how like acting or film worked. You didn't know you got the, a principal no. role. Yeah, no, no, no. I didn't know that. You I didn't thought, know how that worked. No, I, I thought I got the job and I was going to be there for one or two days and, but you got, but you, but then I was there for like a lot more than one or two days. So I was who like, who notified yeah. you? Didn't you have? Um, I did have an agent. Yeah, yeah. Did, did the agent notify you? Hey, you got a principal role. She, yeah, she was just like, you're gonna be Valerie, and I was like, cool. And she was like, for the whole season, and I was like, that's great. How long is that? And she was like, maybe a year. And I was like, holy shit, I gotta quit my job. And that was like the most exciting thing ever is quitting my job. And I mean that, I mean even the pay. Yeah, uh, we d- before the cameras start rolling, we talked about the hustle and grind of uh, grind because you you worked in the food industry too, yeah. so you know what it's like to really work a like an eight to ten hour shift yeah. grinding, and no one gives a shit about you. So yeah, but the Riverdale pay cut was a lot. It was pretty. I will tell you this: it was mm-hmm. pretty, pretty awesome <laughs> for right? from from <laughs> from restaurant <laughs> from to r- TV, I mean, how, amazing. How big of a boost! But then realizing couple G's. where I was on TV, it was I was back on the bottom of the. Oh, sort of so there's... <laughs> but from restaurant to... Oh, okay, from restaurant to that. Yeah, I was like, this is amazing, and then... Yeah. And then but I, so there's a hierarchy when you get in the acting yeah, world yeah, as far definitely, as... Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Does stunt... Do stunt doubles or stunt daredevils or stunt people get I like paid? that you call them daredevils. Oh, daredevils. Yeah, do they get paid pretty well? I think so. Yeah. I hope so. You're putting your body through hell. Yeah, you yeah. You want to be a stunt guy? No, 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 no. I thought about it. I don't want to... Yeah, I'm like, oh, maybe I could do like a be like a uh, Jackie Chan like yeah. kung fu guy. It's I not too I, I, I don't want, no, I don't want to do that. I I, yeah. I used to want What are you to doing, man? I'm starting to feel your energy. You about to get up and leave already? <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> because when you lean <laughs> what, can He's we, either going to attack you or he's going to leave. So this is this Jeremy, my is Jeremy is a lovely um that, I work with Jeremy in, in many areas and, and what is he to, what is he to you as far as my lover? No, <laughs> no, no this, my th- friend, my friend. That's your, fi- but he's a manager type, or yes. Okay, I thought you were a publicist, but you're more of a manager. It yeah. kind of tickles both. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's fair. And bodyguard, clearly, because he's about yeah, to yeah. T- scare the shit out of everyone yeah. in here. And then, um, how long have you guys known each other? Oh man, I think like five years. That okay. Yeah. Is he one of your best friends? Yeah, he's yeah. He's my bestie. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Jeremy's wh- like his first time <laughs> hearing about it. Um, so before Riverdale, like, what other kinds of jobs were you work? Like, how much time can, can do you have? A lot. I've done. Like, a- what was the hardest job before Riverdale? The Riverdale job. Um, the hardest job. I have to say, delivering newspapers because I had the biggest fucking. Oh, sorry. You can no. say it the fuck. Yeah, okay. I mean, I went yeah, far, and well, that was the first yeah, thing yeah, I ever no, did. You're good. You're I good. was like 13 years old, and I think I had like 300 houses. And they even told me this is a huge. Do Americans say route or route? Uh, paper route. Paper or? route. Paper route. Yeah. Okay. So they, I was like yeah. avoiding saying the word because mm-hmm. I say a lot of Canadian things, mm-hmm. and people are like, <laughs> um, I had the biggest paper ra- route. Yeah. Route. Paper route. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, that was hard. But then I also there's so many things, but that. Because I was also 13 and just wanted a job so mm-hmm. bad. I so also you worked even back then, that young? You started working? Yeah. Did I your parents force you to do no, that? No, no. You wanted to I, do Yeah, it. I just wanted money bad. All right, give me a couple Nobody more examples. Was I like it was interesting to me, yeah. Um, I, I worked at McDonald's. I, I told them that I was 15, but I was 13. And you and you were a cashier there? Yeah. Wow. And I, rem- and I remember going to like a Mc... I was going to call it a Mc conference. <laughs> I was at a Mick conference and I remember hearing people whispering and they're like, how old is she? Are you sure she's 15? And I was just like, holy shit, my cover's blown. Oh, wow. Yeah. that How was long like were you working there, though? A, a year. I think I quit before I was like of legal. Did you get free age. like um, Egg McMuffins and stuff? No. No, I got six seventy five an hour. Yeah. And no McMuffins. But did you like at least get free Sundays? Uh, or anything free? No, I actually one time I burnt myself really bad and they on gave the, me a big the, chicken meal. Oh, that's oh man. Which was like yeah. I think I needed. So first what do you? Aid. <laughs> so what is what what was it like working at a McDonald's and then eventually getting a commercial job for McDonald's? Oh yeah, yeah. You know what? I never actually even thought about that. Yeah, isn't that great? 
That was pretty cool. Yeah. So McDonald's, and then did you work? Um, did you were you waiting tables at all at restaurants? Yes. How so hard was that? Uh, I was a terrible server. Me too. I worked terrible, at IHOP. Terrible. Do you know what I were? Oh yeah. 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 At my, I used to put my thumb in the yolk, the egg yolk. Uh, when you're holding a plate. Yeah. <laughs> And oh, I would just no. fling it like a frisbee. Yeah. I go, here you go, dude. Yeah. I went, boom. <laughs> there you go. And then, um, yeah, yeah. my manager had to uh, give me pep talks Did several times. Did you get times. called out for the egg yolk thing? Oh, yeah. well, I got called out. The, that, that, that was probably like an eight top, and I, yeah, I got stiffed. Yeah, yeah. so... And I would always, and so I would get so frustrated because no one would tip me. But it was my customer yeah, service too, skills. And I would just uh, take a paper cup and I would dip it into the soup, like the clam chowder or whatever. And I would just drink it like a soda, like I would just yeah. spitefully like good. drink the uh, soup like it was a uh, soda. At or IHOP at International House of Pancakes. Wow, yeah, and this is when I was chowder. at ASU. And then I got fired. And you know what? I was so desperate for money. I came back. Yeah, yeah. For not like wearing the same crappy tie and <laughs> and, and then they and then they're like, no, <laughs> get out, no. Yeah. They they basically had to force me out of there. Yeah, and I did that with McDonald's too. I mean, but other than McDonald's, you said you n- had another uh, service uh, job. Uh, many, many. I couldn't even name mm-hmm. so many different restaurants. At like an Italian restaurant. Yeah, pizza all of them. Pla- all of them. You worked all of them. I've worked at a, a pizza place, a grocery store. Probably eight restaurants. Um, actually, when we were doing Riverdale, everybody would joke that I was nowhere. There's nowhere that I hadn't worked oh in the city because every time we'd go somewhere, they were like, "Did you work here?" <laughs> and I was like, "Right, yes, I did." But don't you think you appreciate? Yes, I did. You appreciate it more because you know what it's like to earn a do- a buck, right? Yeah. Right. I th- I think when you go- make six seventy five, at one point, anything, any uh, any raise is um, an yeah. incredible one. And then what kind of opportunities, like, arose after Riverdale, like? Because um, you mentioned before we started lot. filming, you you were at an Oscar party and this and that. Like, your your life must yeah, have opened up. Totally, it totally did. Yeah. I feel like I had no idea what um, could have happened. And I, I still am, like, I'm so stoked that I got to do that show because so many. I mean, I live here it's, now, it's and that's huge, because and of that a show. Huge, it was a huge show, yeah. yeah. Which was also, like very surprising not yeah. surprising like just nobody was expecting it <laughs> nobody was expecting yeah. it what did you tell your folks back home when you booked it uh, we all had no idea what it was gonna be what? and i loved archie comics when i was a kid so oh, it, we were just excited because my mom loved archie comics and i loved them so yeah um and i thought i would get to meet rosario dawson because she was valerie and the Josie and the Pussycats movie, and I was yeah. like, "Oh my God, me and Rosario Dawson! Yeah, holy shit!" But well, I'm sure you ha- you did. I don't know. I haven't met her. But what other people did it open up your social life as far as yeah, meeting oh, other yeah. Hollywood types? Yeah, or? yeah. And then like like what these <laughs> these these premiere yeah parties or uh, yeah, it's uh, I've definitely film festivals. And you know who I met who was the most amazing man I've ever met in my life, Danny DeVito. That was the first time I've ever been starstruck, and he is my celebrity crush and was the most amazing man I've ever met. I, uh, he, I, have, a hor- I have a horror <gasps> story about Danny <gasps> DeVito. No! So my brother, he's an actor and comedian. He was, uh, he was hosting a award show in Koreatown, and I was, I'm sober now. Uh-huh. I'm in a 12-step program, so mm-hmm. I don't drink or you know, do drugs, but back then I did. And so he goes, dude, I have an extra ticket. You could come if you want to come check it out. And mm-hmm. You know, you know, uh, Tarantino was there. And um, I made a fool in front of Ralph Macchio. I was so drunk. So I was so drunk backstage. I was a just, I was just, dis- I was destroyed. I was just grabbing champagne. Oh, no, oh, yeah. No. And um, so I was backstage. And first of all, I like did a weird in front of Ralph Macchio, because I'm a huge Karate Kid fan. Yeah, I so go, Karate Kid, fight. dude! You know, and I you're made a fool. take him out. Yeah, but more of like, I was a fan, I was a fanboy. I was right. fanning yeah. out. But then, I um, I didn't know that, I, I w- it was like the green room, or, you know, where I wasn't supposed to be. I was sitting in Danny DeVito's seat. And he w- went back to sit there, you know, to mm. claim his seat, and I go, I'm sitting here now, dude. You know, I was being like a dick, you know? And this is Danny DeVito. <laughs> it was, was so embarrassing. It was just so embarrassing for me. It was yeah. a shame. Like, 
And my brother's like, dude, like. You'll have another moment. With Danny DeVito? Yeah. Can I make amends to him real quick? Yeah, of course. So, Danny DeVito, if you happen to be seeing YouTube, um, the Steve Weeby Show on YouTube, um, I want to apologize. Uh, I regret taking your seat on the couch. Um, I, I'm so now sober 15 years. Um, I don't do drugs or alcohol, so I apologize to you. And I'm sorry for being rude to you. And it's uh, uh, Ralph Macchio, too. Um, I, there you I, go. While you're yeah. over at <laughs> so it, let's get it. So I'm, I apologize for being rude to you. I'm just a big fan. Um, so That's great. Yeah. So uh, do you think I cleared? Uh, for sure. I cleared the air. For sure. Okay. I'm sorry. I just thought. No, I let I you think sorry to me. You On behalf of, yeah, thank you. I'll let him know. <laughs> yeah. The next time I. Okay, because you have. You'll let him know, hey, there's this little Korean guy yeah, yeah. that Do you, you remember? don't remember back in 2003 yeah. or something. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's so who else was nice that you met? I just, everybody else is is gone now because after meeting Danny DeVito, I just forgot everybody else. What is it about Danny DeVito? I just love him. Is it his body type? Because he's kind of like a stocky little everything. guy. Everything. He's really? amazing. He's funny. He's Sony an in incredible director. Uh, really? Yeah. What did he direct? Matilda. He did? Did you say Matilda? Matilda. Yeah, Matilda. What else? Wait, Duplex? Duplex. Do you remember Duplex? Oh, uh, not really. Did, and then The Penguin in Batman? Oh, okay. I remember him doing that. He yeah. just has like a body of work that yeah. nobody else has. Can you write down Danny DeVito on the note card, please? Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Um, <laughs> yeah, Danny so, DeVito. So Daniel. you're obsessed. What do you say you're obsessed? Like, Listen, I'm not going to say but he don't Danny got- DeVito is like my, my hall pass for sure in a relationship. Oh, so you're talking about... Is that tr- what it's called, a hall pass? A hall yeah, pass. Danny DeVito is my yeah. hall pass. And what does that mean? I don't think I've heard that. It is means that a- you can run off into the sunset with, with Danny them. DeVito. Yeah. That's how I mean. Yeah. So you would marry Danny DeVito? Absolutely. Absolutely. So is there a physical attraction there? Or are you... Yeah. Are you, are you the confidence. attracted to his talent? Uh, I think both. I think both. But he's balding. That's... Uh, no. The, really? it, the way he carries himself yeah, he's is like just so... Eight. Isn't he like a little guy? I'm down. Dude, he's shaped like a like a real penguin. Like he's, he's like an angel. Like an angel. Like scallopy kind of a... Like an angel. That's You're not talking about an, my man like no, this. I'm sorry, but dude, he's not... He's kind of like... He's got like a troll body. I don't body. think that... I don't think... I'm not trying to... I don't think that like... Um, what? Like, what? Like the, the big like... Is like hot. What? With the like big the what? jacked like... You I know, thought like, that was hot. This no, is Hollywood, California. I don't think that's I the thought hot. that was the in look. No, that's not hot. So what's hot? I, I think is that's the, like so hot. So what's in hot? The Danny 80s. DeVito's body type is hot. Yeah, just it's the energy that you have is hot. Really? Yeah. But isn't he like in his sixties or seventies now? Hot. Hot doesn't have an age. Okay, so yeah, you're like you're not <laughs> in your head. Yeah. See. Do you agree with her? <laughs> yeah. Oh, with Arnold. <laughs> You know what? I'll give you that. There you go. That was a great movie. Um, hot, but does he have anything on Joe Pesci? I don't think he get. I mean, if I, you know, you had to choose. You had to choose. You I would choose Pesci. Oh, dude, yeah, all day. Yeah, <laughs> all day. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. Like I'm going Devito still. You would. Yeah. Who could compete with Devito? Who's choice number two other than Danny? If you couldn't have, da- you couldn't oh, have okay. Danny, but there was another guy lined up. Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> what yeah. is wrong with you? The Fly? Yeah. Have you seen The Fly? No. What's The Fly? He t- morphs into a fly. So he's so the down. scientist guy, so, so and and down. he's and then he's doing an experiment. He has a pod, and the pod it sneaks into this thing, and then it, he morphs into a fly. It's like he's like. I'm gonna yeah. watch that tonight. I feel like you and Jeff Goldblum would have a really good conversation. Um, Don't you I'm think if he was here, it would be so good? But he's put right. So it down, are right you? It tra- down. Do you? He's a good actor, but you're yeah. saying no. But I also think he's got this like he's sexy, got but- his like, eyes. Yeah, his style, his eyes. He's got like yeah. this like hot thing going on too. What if Goldblum and Devito had a child? Oh, perfect. dude, that would. I be thought your- you were gonna say that. Who's number three? I was like, there. That's it. I, that's it. It's Devito Goldblum. There's a sci-fi movie where uh, the, the the male alien could ha- get a, have a baby. So mm-hmm. if they could like give birth, if Goldblum that would be so and DeVito, precious, precious. Um, you know, yeah, that'd be amazing. Mated, w- that would be your like, h- that would be your husband. 
yeah i mean yeah. i'd have to wait a while for him to turn 21 but sure if he's so, out for older lady so if you think jeff goldblum and danny devito's attractive what do you think about leonardo dicaprio and like ryan gosling and these types um lovely gentlemen yeah, uh but no, you're not, not my that type attracted not to my them. type <laughs> you know, the, you, you, this lovely is, gentleman she's not cool as hell <laughs> because it's like a twilight zone where it's like I th- we're in this alternate universe where the concept of beauty is, to you is like but maybe I, I kind of feel like people world. just think that those i th- obviously they're beautiful men but i think that they're fun to they're just like everybody thinks they're hot so everyone's like yeah they're hot because it's just like who's gonna say they're Who's going to be the brave one to say they're not? <laughs> yeah. They're like, they're like, of course they're like attractive. So, but did, you gotta look, you gotta so look beyond. So you don't care about height? Or no, any, I don't give a shit about height. So what if Danny DeVito was like four two? That's fine. Really? Well, I don't like know him. I've met him one time. Yeah. And, then and what, just, I'm a fan of his work. Or what's the deal? Yeah. I was so nervous. I, Are I, you sweating? Yeah. He was so nice. Did you shake his hand? Yeah. Were, were your, was there sweat on your hand? Yeah, of course. And his kids were there and they were so kind. And I sat down and because I, and I was scared. Yeah, and yeah. then I wanted to leave immediately because I just, I don't, I want to say hi and then leave because I'm nervous. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to go get a drink. And he's like, no, sit down, just stay. You can sit and so and so will go get a drink. And I was like, ah! oh, was yeah. he nice? To you? So he was so, ni- so kind. So kind. Wow. And then I had to leave immediately because I mm-hmm. was scared that I was going to wow. overstay my welcome. Yeah. Do your fo- so do you have siblings back yeah. in Canada? Like, like I have a brother and a sister. You do? Are yeah. you the, in the middle? I'm in the middle. Okay. How did you know that? I don't know. Is it the energy? I don't know. I just threw it out there. Well, well I'm not psychic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I'm I, in the middle. It was child. Just a guess. It was a guess. Are you? What? What are you? Yeah. Um, no, I'm the I'm the baby. Yeah, you get yeah, 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 the baby. You give him the baby. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. God, I, I'm gonna think about that tonight, laying in my like, like Danny DeVito. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, think about me wow, too. <laughs> yeah, you know, it'd be cool if there was like, if there was like a gay guy out there and like, that was their like number one thing. Like, there's pictures of Danny DeVito for all sure. Over there his is room or something. for sure. There is right. This is completely unrelated. Well, not just no, thinking pictures just in the room. Yeah, I was shooting this horror movie in an abandoned mental hospital, and they made our like green rooms in the rooms that people used to stay in and the room that I was in was abandoned but there was pictures cutouts of Matt Damon everywhere and I was like someone inform his team that's I don't know if it's a fascination or what but there was like pictures of him cut out from like Us Weekly and like like a and, real apartment and not like a real like a real room like a real like a room like a, like a room where people there. stayed yeah and there was pictures of Matt Damon glu- like taped on the wall. Do you think, I mean, what's your gut telling you? Was that a man's I don't room know. or a woman's room? I think man. Me too. Yeah, something. I think was, it was a man. Yeah. And uh, he was just like, Damon. Probably jerking off to those pictures. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Right? when you They were like candid shots. None of them yeah. were like posed or head yeah. It was always walking street style photos. Mm-hmm. and. I would watch shots. that movie like. I would, you know, like, have you seen that movie, uh, One Hour Photo with uh, Robin Robin oh, Williams? A long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that movie. I would yeah. see a movie like that, but uh-huh. like, I would see a movie where someone is infatuated with Danny DeVito and like jerking off to his pictures every night. Oh, okay. And they're trying to find this, you know what I mean? Like yeah. he does creepy stuff, like like uh, Robin did. And yeah, I would I'd pay it yeah. money to watch that. You make yeah. that. You should make that. Wait, 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 wait. And just replace everything. Wait, wait, just Danny DeVito. <laughs> Danny DeVito. Do you think? Um, do you think he has like a fat ass? Um, I think you see his ass in Always Sunny. I think you do. I'm pretty sure he shows his ass in Always Sunny. Does he have I a bubble butt? Is, is it like a pancake butt, or does he have a little bit of bubble in there? You know what? I don't. I think I I didn't want to see. I yeah. didn't want to. I didn't want to. Um, I want to. I, I want to just keep that uh, sacred. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> Sacred. But what if he does this? Like, let's say you went on a date and he he, he farted in front of you. Totally fine. And then, but once you smelled it, you're like, oh. Roses. Yeah. No. Okay. Pure <laughs> shit. Just pure <laughs> diarrhea. Yeah, just pure yeah. Dis- disgusting. We have all part. sharted, so I don't, yeah, I wouldn't hold that against him. Yeah, but wouldn't that change him. your perception of him? I don't know if he would do that. Yeah. But I would try and make him feel comfortable and shart myself. 
okay, let me give you another scenario. You guys Nothing have a nice turn. dinner, and it, he c- c- goes in to give you a kiss, and then you smell shit in his mouth. What's worse? I would I would have to um. I th- be honest. <laughs> That's hard. The shit yeah. mouth is pretty bad. What's shit worse? Mouth is bad. Just like farting or shit mouth. Shit mouth. Really? Yeah, I've been on a date and a guy had wanna, bad breath. I want to know all about it. Bad don't don't breath. just. I want like let's build the story up. I want to know about this shit. It was guy. like a fine date, and then. Who's the guy? You don't have to say his name. Was he a white guy? Was he a Mexican <laughs> guy? Who was he? He was a man. What who lives in Los Angeles? You got to give us a little bit more. <laughs> <than that. laughs> I don't know how. What, what was his ethnicity? He was. Just say it. We're not going to say his name. <laughs> I don't know why I'm worried. Like I, I feel like saying it is going to narrow down like who it, who it is. Um, I don't know. He was an ambiguous man. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Keep going. All right, all right, all right. I like that. It was being... like a. I wasn't really down for the date anyway. And then I was like, "Holy shit! What's that smell?" Wait, wait, hold up. You're skipping steps. Did, what, did he pick you up? Did he take you to dinner? Did you get, get coffee? Like, what happened? Oh, God. When was I think it was, like, one of the first the first couple of weeks that I moved here. Um, We went to Sugarfish. What is that, a restaurant or a yogurt? Sushi. Is it pretty on the west side? Yeah, so yeah. Is it, uh, is it like Nobu? No. Uh, no, it's not as you fancy Nobu. as Nobu, is it? Uh, it's, no, it's like Yeah, it's like a set menu. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. And I was like, sushi mouth doesn't normally, that's not what it smells like. It smells like hot garbage. Like diaper, it would smell like a diaper. I could smell a diaper. What, what, what are you talking about, the food or his breath? That's, I wasn't sure. I thought it wasn't the Oh, food. so this is like foreshadowing. This is the first moment I was like, you what the hell is that smell? A diaper. Something smells like a goddamn diaper so in he here. So picked you up in his car? Yeah. And then you smelt the diaper. I smelt the diaper. Okay, keep going. But I didn't really, the windows were down, so I didn't really smell the diaper at first. Yeah, I know. It's scary. No, I like <laughs> Hold I love back. It. <laughs> Get yeah, ready. I love it. I love it. This I love diaper it. is strong. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck is that smell? You had a good conversation. And I could just, yeah. yeah. And then I didn't know until we got back in the car that for sure well, this was you diaper. A bunch of, I want to know about dinner and like. Dinner was fine. Um,. I don't know the conversation. It was so long ago. Yeah, I know. But did you order? Did you? Did he order for you? No, or? no. You get like a set. You set, choose okay, like it's a, a set, set thing. thing. So you don't get to choose. You don't get to choose. Okay. They just bring you whatever. Do, do they bring out edamame? Or yeah, they do. The miso the soup. No or, soup. No soup. But but they do uh-huh. have edamame. It was w- great. What was he wearing? Like uh, was he dressed I don't nice? Remember. No, did he I smell d- nice. I'll tell. No. What? The diaper was overpowering. No. Did he shower? Did he? Sweat? I hope to God he showered. But he didn't smell nice. No, I think the diaper odor was taking over whatever he had. But the thing is, a diaper odor is different than shit. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. a diaper smells like a di- right? Cause but you right? No, but it was diaper, like a hot diaper. What? Hot diaper. Oh, like a shit diaper. <laughs> but not not like not tickling the shit smell, but just like a hot diaper. A hot. Stain. I have friends with babies now, so yeah, I'm like, so I know. smell it, and I'm yeah. like, is around, you know? So tell me. When you really noticed it after we got di- back in the car, okay, keep going. And I'm like, I don't. I think this is it. I don't think I can go out with this guy again. And then he turned and said something to me, but he was close to my face, and I <laughs> diaper, full <laughs> diaper, and I was just like, <laughs> thank you so much. So how? That how was really po- nice. Was he this close? No, no. It was like, it was like between yeah, just uh, the W and the last E. Face. The w and the I think maybe he was going in for a. Oh, so he was going in for the kill. Yeah. So he, he was going. Also. He, yeah. Yeah. Oh. No. Did your eyes water? I I don't know what my face did. I yeah. truly was just like. So was his mouth wide open? Like. No, that's the problem. It wasn't even open wide, so it was bad. I think he might have had like a tooth rotting in there or something. <laughs> You know, like maybe he needed some yeah. something was happening in his mouth that needed to be. I, but yeah, uh, if he had like strawberry breath, that's totally fine. Now that I'm thinking about it, there yeah. was definitely something dental. How do you know? Because how? Why does you eat and you have a drink and your mouth still smells not right? Did he? I have think like he a needed root a root canal. Root canal. Yeah, root canal. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Does his tooth look like this? Do you have a root canal back there? Oh, I, I got I got a root canal. No, no tooth here. You have no tooth there? Yeah, I let it fall out. Holy shit. It didn't fall out? Or you did know they pull what's it crazy? Out? Is 
You haven't even smelt the shit coming out of this mouth. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's peculiar. I'm Why surprised. Why do you think I brought it up? I know. <laughs> this red ball is masking it. But, dude, Just there's fucking all kinds of shit coming out of this mouth right now. Wait. Yeah. Wait, you have yeah. no tooth back there? Dude, I don't, even, I don't remember the last time you went to the dentist. Did it get pulled out? Dude. It's gone. Do you show out fucking all kinds of shit? Yeah. Do you show out? Oh yeah, painful or are you just like fuck oh, it? Oh, dude, that's I it. was popping at once. At uh, one time, it was so painful, like an ice pick. Like there was an ice pick, fucking. Oh, it feels. Like, fuck. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I was popping fucking ibuprofen like Skittles. I was yeah. like fucking eight at a time. Yeah. And you didn't go to the dentist then. I so I got it so painful where I did half the root canal. Where they drill, you know, they 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 fucking they, mm-hmm. they cut off the the nerve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, but it's a two part thing yeah. where you got to go back and get the cap and they they, they do the crown and all. I didn't do that. Yeah, I I did that the first time. Your teeth are nice. Like I had a root canal. Can we see? Can you show the camera? Like I you have, have some tooth. nice ass teeth. So how did you? How the hell do you keep your teeth that? Um, pr- like they're fucked. fucked. What are you talking it about? Seems You're not like no it seems like it's te- a facade. All I've heard that it's genetics when yeah. your teeth get fucked up. Because I have a... Dude, you've got nice teeth. But look at hers. Did you do this again? Dude, they're so white and oh, perfect and pearl white. white. Are you missing teeth? Um, not, not yet, any. but I have probably a cav- uh, filling in every single, almost uh, maybe one or two teeth. That's it. Every other one is fucked. Be honest, who, like, and like, I brush the smile, shit like, out of let's these. Smile to her. How many? Who, who's got nicer teeth, me and her? How many? Do you have cavities? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fillings? Yeah. Do you have a lot of fillings? Yeah, yeah, fillings. Okay, I you have do. every single tooth, I think, R- except for one or two. So it's really sad. I brush the shit out of these. You do? Do you floss? Yeah. Okay. I I brush it and well, floss. Wait, so, it's so my intern is saying that the, the tooth decay, it's genetics, tooth decay, and yeah, cavities. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Ju- you can. Tooth decay? You, yeah. Can you imagine if I made it with diaper mouth? <laughs> or Danny? De- okay, so. Oh, I'd make it with Danny DeVito. I'd get tooth decay. For but Danny. what if Danny DeVito had shit diaper or shit breath? I'd still do it. What is wrong with you? You. I what? just. You know what? Dude. These are all hypothetical <laughs> things. I've never because heard. I feel like I've he never heard have anyone it. talk about Danny DeVito in this way, man. I feel like he would never. This wouldn't happen for Danny. Yeah. But I would support him in any. I'm gonna give you, dude. I'm gonna give you such a curveball that you won't even know how to answer this. <laughs> what if? Okay, it was a perfect date with Danny DeVito. He's gonna leave his wife. He's gonna. Oh leave no, his no, I want no, her no, to be no, a part no, no, of no. it. He's, I want her to be a part of it. He just fell madly in love with you, but then it's the special night, and you guys both unclothe yourselves, and he's got a micro. I'm fine with a it. micro penis. I'm fine with it. No, I'm talking. I'm talking <laughs> a button. <laughs> A button, <laughs> dude. You know a Listen, Carmex. You know Carmex. Yeah. The yeah. cap of a our relationship the red doesn't cap of a have Carmex. to be sexual. What? Our relationship doesn't have to be sexual. Whoa! So it'd be all intellectual yeah, conversation yeah. with Danny yeah. DeVito. What is wrong? Dude, is she for real? I swear to God, she. This I is swear. her for real. I swear. What the hell? Yeah. So did you? I take it. Did you even? Date in high school? Like, have you yeah, dated out that's here? The, that's what it is. It's you, you date so many bad people that you're just like, the F boys. I'll have the, the button. Boys, the F boys. I'll have a button if he's a nice guy. But yeah. Does that matter? Like, a button? L- yeah, yeah, button. I mean, I prefer no button. But. But. But it's better than nothing. But if it's an, no, I, if it's a nice, I mean, it's more than. Just say it. It's I more mean, than what's in there, you know? It's what what's mean, in what here. <laughs> <laughs> so say that again. You know what I mean, it's so like a good. It, you know what yeah, is really? Yeah. You gotta look for someone with a good heart, so and then everything else can be. You would take the button. Yeah, I take the button down there. Downstairs, yeah, if you, yeah. If the heart is gold. Yeah. If the heart is gold, I'll take the button. I mean, what are, you, are guys? you out of all your friends? Could they say the same thing of what you just said? Yeah. They would. Nobody would be surprised by me saying this. I swear to God. LA is kind of. Super, you know, it's not like that in LA, though, right? You kind of have to. Uh, they just LA needs more Canadians, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so in Canada, they are all about. The, no. Uh, okay, I didn't want to generalize. Uh, yeah, I don't want Canadians to come after me now. Yeah. We don't want a button. Yeah. God, yeah. Danny DeVito. Wow, that's interesting. Because he's pretty overweight, isn't he? He's a little bit ob- obese as well. He's a little bit beautiful. Yeah. 
Do your mom? Do your parents know your yeah, infatuation know. with Danny DeVito? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I, I'll challenge you with this. Would you get a Danny DeVito tattoo? No, I don't have any tattoos. See, I'm calling you no out tattoos. on your bullshit then. If no you're tattoos. Not, well, no. And, I don't think I would get a tattoo of uh, anything with nothing against anyone who has tattoos yeah, against yeah, yeah. significant significant yeah. others, but I don't mm-hmm. think I would. You wouldn't. No, I, I but I do think it's cool when people do it, mm-hmm. even when they break up, because I think it's like a cool so and so's name, so and so here, and mm-hmm. you have just like a map of like mm-hmm. your your life. Yeah, exactly. And like partners and stuff. I think that's so cool. Did you? I couldn't do it. What's the longest relationship that you had? had in LA uh in LA f- four years really yeah what do you is look that long like? what, do you, what, do you, what, do you, what do you look like um an angel yeah was he sh- short yeah, um no um you're I like the way <laughs> you know what I like your style because you don't nope. really you're not going to reveal a lot can I ask you yes and no questions uh is yeah. he a white guy he's whitish <laughs> Is he white? I mean, no. He's like whitish. What do you mean whitish? Is he white <laughs> Like or when not? I met him, I didn't think he was white. But he's like half white. He's like whitish, you know? Is <laughs> he like, when you meet, if you met him, you'd be like, huh, is he white or he could be Latino? He could be this, you know, but it's like. Is he an actor? No. Is he a musician? Mm-mm. Tattoo artist? Nope. He's into sports? No. Nah. Fitness, sports? fitness, fitness. No, no, no. He's like a fitness trainer. No. He's an agent. No. Music no producer, way. music producer. He nope. like signs bands. No. Do you know this guy? Okay. Nice. Keeping it okay. quiet too. No, I don't do the, I have a uh, no, no front you know man what? rule. I I'll have a leave, no front I'll man rule. That. Yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah good. you keep it on yeah. the DL. Uh-huh. Can we talk about your music? Yeah, I would. I would so love you to. go by Halo. Halo's your moniker in music. Yes. How did you get into making? Like, how did you get into it? I was making music before acting, and um, it sounds so like hippie, mm. but I wanted to have a different name because then when I started acting, I wanted to completely separate the two. Mm-hmm. And then I had a dream that I introduced myself as Halo to someone, mm-hmm. but I didn't want to spell it like Halo because I wanted Google. I wanted like a good Google search. Yeah. So I put, I spelt it H-A-Y-L-E-A-U because it's kind of like a Canadian spelling. Mm-hmm. And when you Google it, I feel like I'm the only thing that comes up. Damn. So I thought about that. Dope. Yeah. Who were some of your influences? Like what'd you grow up listening to as a kid and stuff? A lot. Um, no doubt. Currently I'm listening oh, to, hell yeah. I'm kind Gwen, of trying to make to a, Gwen. yeah, shout out to Gwen. Hell yeah. She was wrecking shop for th- yeah, those killer. years. So good. Nineties. They were uh, cover Rolling insane. Stone. Insane. Mm-hmm. I feel like that is like a big my biggest Gwen? influence. Gwen. Is it her? And state? then like Janet Jackson and oh, Cast and like Janet yeah, killed yeah, shit in the nineties. Yeah. Killed it. I'm so pissed I didn't get to go to the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah, dude. Janet was ruling. Yeah, Janet shit. was rocking it. Everyone talks about Michael, but dude, Janet had some fucking. Albums. Janet was holding yeah, it down. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Weren't into like Erica Badu? Yes. Or? Yes. Yes. Because yes. she was. Amazing too, but no one brings this one up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this person love, Lauren fucking Hill. Yes, dude. yeah, yeah. Lauren fucking good too. from the yeah. Fugees, man. Amazing. Uh, Google that. Very, very slept yeah. on. Yeah, underrated. No, dude. totally. She killed shit, dude. Um, yeah. her solo album and like her her work on the Fugees album, killing shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And people yeah. don't. No, people don't. People don't really don't give homage. They yeah, they don't. It. Yeah, now it's more like if you have whoever, if you have face tattoos, then you're gonna. Yeah, it's not really. She was. It's not really bitch. about the art, you know. Yeah, kinda, it kind of is. No, we talked about SZA. Like she's do- She's talented. Yeah, she's fantastic. Yeah, I saw her live a few years ago. SZA? But but would love. I love that she's doing stadium tours. Like fucking so cool. Because I saw her in a really small venue, and it was amazing. In L.A. No, in Vancouver. You saw her up in Canada? Yeah. How many, like, was it a dive bar? No, it was like, I'm trying to think of a, a venue that's similar here. Yeah. Sm- a little bit smaller than, um, what's that one? That's Troubadour? I've never been to the Troubadour. Um, what, is it Palladium? A little Pal- bit smaller than oh, Palladium. Oh, Palladium. Uh, yeah, I saw the gorillas there. Yeah. Yeah. But but still like a, a good size venue, but yeah, 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 definitely yeah, yeah. smaller but than Palladium. But Palladium was pretty 
decent. Yeah, though. Palladium's sick. Yeah, it's sick. Yeah. Um, I would love to see anybody there. At the Palladium. Yeah, I saw the pixies like, there. Oh yeah, that's great. Dope. Dope yeah. concert. Um now is that a were you influenced by specifically SZA or are you more influenced by like Janet and like Yeah, I Gwen? think more like Janet Gwen. I like really am leaning into like a pop punk with like a sprinkle of R and B. It could be anything though. Yeah. There's no rule. I, yeah, yeah, I yeah. feel like it's so hard to pick a genre. Yeah. I don't really want to pick one. So you want to do, do it anything. all? Like it, yeah. Yeah. I just want to make shit that I enjoy. Now, do you um make, do you play stuff or do you, yeah. do you make, do you record your, your own shit? I play piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sing, obviously. Sing, and yeah. then write the music. And I work with this lovely man named Eric who is he, he a he wizard. Produce? Yeah. He produces. Yeah. And he's like insane. Yeah, he does everything. It's just like, nah, 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 let's do this. So, nah, 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 I want to do this now, and like his so brain does, is just like moving faster than his body can. So he does all. He he does everything. Yeah. He wears many hats. Yeah, uh, every single hat. Um, when do you remember the first song? What made you want to record and put stuff out? Um, I was doing open mic and uh, random open mics in Vancouver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I met um someone who introduced me to a producer. It, up there like, yeah how, how how many years ago was this 10 Damn. Mm-hmm. uh maybe nine or ten mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um and he was i worked with this producer for probably four years he okay. lives in japan now is he japanese yeah can i give him a shout out sure what's his name his name is uh his producer name who that's the only thing he would like me to say is ndt Shout out to my main man in DT. <laughs> Keep doing your thing, dog. Yeah. Um, have you performed in Japan or? No, I've never there? been. I could see you flourishing out there. I would love. I would love. I to could go. see you actually living out there. I would. I would love to go out there. Can you see a future in Japan? Hell yeah! I what? can see a future wherever the money is. What if in DT <laughs> met some big time Japanese producer dude, and they're like, "Dude, we want to put out the three of yeah. the albums." But I want to put a song out in Japanese. Can you speak Japanese? No. <laughs> well, put it out in the universe. But Let's I could. Let's put it out there. So you want to do a song in Japanese. Yeah, that would be tight. That'd be tight. That would be tight. Because it'd be different. Yeah. And I feel like they get it over there. And then people out they're there. They're artsy. If you get the accent down, and then they, they, they see you, they go, oh, you know, like, <laughs> she's not even Japanese. And she's not. You yeah, know, I, I, mean, I, gotta it. A, I gotta nail it. I gotta nail it, though. more of like, um. Like a mystery. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a black guy out there who raps in Japanese. He speaks Japanese, obviously. And he See, fucking that's kills fucking it. that's cool. Yeah. He's amazing. That's fucking cool. And does you got to kill it, though. Yeah, he lives in Japan. But you got to be, like, top tier at it. But if right. just, I just feel like there's so... I mean, obviously, you can do... You can wear stuff and you can be cool here. But they are just, like, so ahead. Of their time? With, yeah, with fashion and with like, Japanese people. Yeah, they're just like fearless they, they, with fashion. They have a chol- cholo culture too, where they dress like cholos and stuff. Yeah, yeah, kind of cool. And they're yeah. the Japanese. Yeah, yeah. Have you been out there? No, I want to go so bad. I, I think, have to go. Yeah, I've never been to Tokyo. I want to go. Yeah, I want to go too. My friend goes every every other month. He goes there. What? Yeah, my friend is he, he Japanese? He's half Japanese, half Korean. Okay. And dude, he has the best time. Like he'll follow. He'll go to hot springs and and he'll just he'll just venture yeah. out and he'll f- the he'll follow the lotus flower petals whatever and he said it's dude the food he said is the best food ever yeah and the it's, people I've heard are my dad no, went and was like I want to I want to move here it's incredible and he said that there's a lot of non Japanese motherfuckers just out there living yeah there's a lot of people from Europe and whether whether it's from like Netherlands or you know people just out there yeah yeah have you heard of um hiki hikikomori no so it hikikomoris are it, it's um they're basically shut-ins oh so they're japanese mostly dudes they don't leave their room and they just live their whole lives in um the, the, you know, like playing video games. Is there a documentary on this? Yeah, yeah, Hikikomori. Yeah, just uh, it, it, it popped up <coughs> on my algorithm, but it, it's pretty fascinating. It's kind of you know, there, I guess people would call them insoles out here. Or, oh, or, that's a whole different way. Oh no, no, no not insoles. No, 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 no. Hikikomori. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 an insole. That's different. I'm sorry. I, I, let me let me take that back. <laughs> a Hikikomori. 
Wait, is it like an insult? But they're not all of them. But they're like an innocent. They're they don't work. They're afraid of leaving. They they are free. They're afraid of social. Okay. Um, situations. They just are. They're shut-ins. They just spend most of their time just in a room. Uh They don't work. They're usually the mom is enabling them. Do they live at home? Yeah, but then it gets really problematic when their parents die because the mom take and then when the mom dies, then they don't know what to do because they've never had to like work for themselves. I'm gonna look this up. Yeah, hikikomori. Yeah, I've but, never um, heard of that. Some of them just die. They're, that the yeah, a lot of it's like th- a lot of uh, s- something traumatic m- may have happened. Like bully, they may have been bullied. Yeah, and so they they're afraid after yeah. that moment. They just yeah, that's crazy. That's sad. Would you date one? <laughs> uh, I mean, I like staying home. Like a hikikomori, like a, a person that doesn't sh- like no, just plays no. video games. Is that a turn? That's off me, it? honestly. I play video game. I w- I play video games a lot. <laughs> I do play? a lot. What are you playing? I did not. I Dude, well, I mean, I'm, I I reveal I, I, some uh, of the games. Uh, 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 Zelda. Okay. The new Zelda. Okay. Tears There's of the Kingdom. Wrong with that. I play a lot of Fortnite. You do a lot of Fortnite. Do you Twitch? No, uh, I can't. I think uh, I just get too crazy on there. I'm she, screaming. She's a gamer? She's a gamer, yeah. For real? Yeah. She has Xbox Yeah. You have the Xbox Series X? Yeah. That one? You have yeah. that one? Yeah. Okay, let me... Actually, I got it, a fun story of how I got it. Um, okay, okay, okay. So I wake up. Yeah. Checking the Target app. Yeah. It says that there's... They've got them in store, so I don't... Well, I just got out of bed. It was like 8 in the morning. Mm-hmm. Go there in my jammies. Um, they don't have them in store. And then I hear this guy talk. I thought he was going to kidnap me. He was like, oh, I, I bought one last night. My brother bought one and it's downstairs at the pickup. If you want to buy it, you can just Venmo me and you can take it. Cause we have two. And I was like, this guy's going to fucking kidnap me for sure. Um, so I go downstairs with him hoping to God that he doesn't kidnap me. And, um, he actually, it was the truth. They like, or bought two cause the drop, you know, and it was crazy during the pandemic and yeah. everybody was like. And I and that's how I got it. I just got it from some guy in the Target like parking lot downstairs, where really? the order pickup was. Yeah, and yeah, then that he was one. a real yeah, estate one. agent. Yeah, but I picked it up like in Target. It wasn't like in the back of his car right, or something. It right. was, but I but but we were upstairs, and he said, "I have you have to come downstairs," and I was like, "Well, I'm not doing that." Yeah. I might have been on the phone with you, and I was like, "I'm going downstairs to get this Xbox." Do you don't play Warzone at all? No. Um, what about RPGs? You don't play like Elden Ring or no? But I I, want I, I to. just I just started playing Elden Ring. Oh yeah, it's very. Have you ever played Splinter Cell? No, is that fun? Yeah. Do you play games? Yeah, he games too. Do you play Warzone? No. What do you What does he play? I play games. Oh, oh, is that that zombie game? No, it's like a survival game. Survival, but it's like a <laughs> they do rounds. It's oh wow, what's the one that um. You play um, Far Cry or... Um, no, I don't... I, I you don't like those types of You know of what games? I really love? Yeah. Little Nightmares? No, I want to play Little Nightmares. Dude, that's a masterpiece. Really? Fucking masterpiece. Okay, I want to play. I want to play. It, the style of it, yeah. you'll love it. Yeah. Fucking dope. I have to... I got to play that. No, why, do you, why are you open to that? And then I'm saying all these other games, you're like, nah. But then when I said Little Nightmares, you got it. You, you, it sparked a interest. A lot of people have been telling me to play Little Nightmares. Who? Your homegirls? Home, my homeboys. Oh, your homeboys and homegirls? Yeah. What are they saying about it? Play it. It's good. Is it spooky though? Because it's here's the thing. I know that's the. I think that's why they're telling me because they know I get scared like and they think movie. that it'll be funny that, to watch. It's a horror scream. movie. Yeah. What else? Okay. So what else are they recommending? Um. Oh. 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 I can't remember. What's the one? It's. It's a. It's a zombie one, and it's the second. Um, it just came out. Not just came out, but like less than a year ago. Fuck. What's it called? Something Island, right? No, it's. Okay. Yeah, Dead Island. It's the second game to it. I can't remember what it's called, but I my, I made my sister spend eighty dollars on it, and then she was too scared to play it with me. No, no, it's. Uh, I don't know why I was thinking. It's, it's uh, not Red Dead. It's um. Yeah, yeah Red Dead. Um. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I, I hate up that. So too. Much it's space. okay. Um. No, and you have like a team. It's a co-op game. It's like an online co-op. Oh, the quarry. The quarry. No, no. Who is that? Answer it now. <laughs> That's my homeboy. He's off the grid? You better get that. No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 no, 
no, my friend, he he he's so far removed from Hollywood that he'll go camping by himself, like out in the mountains, off the he's grid. He's a Kamari. Yeah. Kind of, kind of like yeah. in his own way, but he does a nature. He could, like, oh. you know, he could Kamori in a tent by himself, like, in, yeah. you know. You like to camp? Yeah, I do. But it's, um, it, it could get dangerous. There's, yeah. there, he told me there's certain places in California where it's a whole, like, people grow weed out there, mm-hmm. and, like, pe- there's missing body. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It gets sketchy. Mm-hmm. Like, um, what, like, do you guys, do you, do you camp too? Do you like it? I don't like it, but I do it. I like, like it and don't like it. Yeah, what, do you, like what do you like about it? The daytime. What do I not like? The nighttime. As soon as the sun goes down, I'm like, fuck, we got to get out of here, you guys. <laughs> this is insane. We got to get go out of here. Though? No way. No no way. Also, I want to sleep in my car. I, I don't want to sleep outside at night. And then you hear some shit. Yeah. I can't do you that. You see Blair Witch? No, I Blair can't. Blair Witch Project? I can't. Yeah. That, you'll, you'll not want to camp after that. Yeah. I don't want to camp yeah. now. Um, you don't like, do you like, you don't, the tent, setting up the tent, don't you no. like that? You don't like no, that? I don't like that. So you like glamp? Is it called glamping? glamping yeah, yeah, glamping. But I don't even know what that what that would. I don't know what I would enjoy. Yeah. I, I like, I like um, cooking outside. Yeah. Eating Hell outside. Yeah. So making your. Own I like shit? a bonfire, but as soon as everyone gets ready for bed, I'm I'm on to go home. I'm mm-hmm. scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. Yeah. I can't. I don't like little animals. I don't like skunks, raccoons. Yeah. What if? A, what about a bear? I, I'm not that scared of bears because at Vancouver, there's bears. There's so many bears in BC that I just like, I'm not oh, scared. Oh, you're right. You, you're used to that. For some reason, bears don't scare me. Would you be open to camping by yourself if at night, one night, but then the kicker is Danny DeVito would ride on a bear? Oh, my God. <laughs> when do I get <laughs> to do naked, that? Like Danny DeVito. That sounds ride. amazing. <laughs> yeah. So you Actually, would- one time I was camping and not Danny DeVito, but a bear was outside the tent. Like really? scratching on the tent. Yeah. Do you have animals? No. I I I don't know. I'm saying it like I had them recently. I used to have a German Shepherd when I was like growing up. Oh, yeah. They're smart dogs. They're so smart. How come you don't have a dog out here? There's a uh, I don't have time. You know what? I I, I should. What do you mean get you don't one. have time? Everybody says this. I'm like, what do you mean you don't have time for an animal? Yeah. No. No, I can't. You can't. I can't. I'll have if I ever have a kid, then maybe I'll get a dog too. Yeah, but I want to yeah. just like be a selfish bitch for a bit yeah yeah do you like living out here do you miss canada do you i like love it? living here what, what do you like about it i feel like there's so many more opportunities out here, here. yeah could you live like can you move away from california now no why not i feel like i'm still bound to it could you move yeah you yeah. could um, yeah I, I i would like to move to new york for a little bit so it's either la or new york yeah what about if there's opportunity in like Austin, Texas for you? Yeah, that'd be cool too. I'm down. Tulsa, Oklahoma? Sure. I want to go to Charleston. Um, St. Paul, Minneapolis? Sure. Is uh, there a job there? I'm just throwing <laughs> things in. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just Is there something shooting? Florida, here? Florida? Uh, um, depends on where. <laughs> Miami? Oh, yeah, yeah. I went to Miami for the first time. What's Florida? Dude, there's some. There's some. It's like an alternate. Everybody is. Yeah, like, there's some gutter, like, kind of gang, yeah. like. But didn't, also, yeah, didn't uh, 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 Triple X Tentacion get killed out there in Miami? Yeah, yeah, oh, he got killed in Florida, right? Yeah, dude, there's some like, there's some like drug shit out there too. There's like a lot of really tanned and sexy people too. What like uh, there's like Dominicans <laughs> and yeah, yeah. I've never been out there. I I went for the first time like a couple in uh, May or June, mm. and it was. Did you sick. like it? Yeah, but I went for the for Formula One race, so that was I feel like what a is special. up with her and Formula One? I like, like she, Formula she One. Formula One before we start filming. What is up with Formula you and these, these cars? And stuff? I love these cars. These cars are cool. Are you a car person? I like. Uh, I wasn't before Formula One. Yeah, but now I'm like, why Formula One? What's it's just the... sick. Why? Why? They're just fast, and there's so much like mechanics mm-hmm. and strategy that goes mm-hmm. into the race that it, it's just so cool. It is. Yeah, it's sick. You got to watch one. What is it like a NASCAR? Is that it's like NASCAR, right? But but not not. It's like NASCAR. It's a race. Yeah, like NASCAR. But what's the difference the between NASCAR and different. Formula One? Like, uh, NASCAR is it's like regular type. I mean, they're jazzed up, yeah. but for, Formula One race cars are built from. Yeah, like you can't drive. You can't drive that shit on the street. No, you can't. Those are like yeah, insane. You know what's crazy? They look that like rocket ships. With so, wheels. do you, what are you driving now? Do, is it like a race? Do you have a sports car? No. Okay. I have just like a little X one. Just say what oh. car it is. Yeah. 
Um, dude, I've been holding in a fart for like 30 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> dude. Just yeah. let it out. No, no, because we're in your space. You, you mentioned the diaper thing, and I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I, I can tell you. See, he's you losing patience. He, you just he's losing he's patience. Leaving. Where are you going, he's man? He's holding it. We need you, brother. <laughs> he's oh, holding that's it good. Apart. That's good timing. That's oh, that's timing. good timing. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, yeah. That's good timing. Hey, man, thanks for coming through. Okay. 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 Did you let the fart out? No, I didn't. I don't believe it. But can I tell you something before we end? Because I want to yeah. plug all your shit. Hey, okay. when's your next uh, music thing? Are you dry, Are you working on anything um, right now? Yes, I am. I'm. Is it, am I messing this up? No, no, no. I'm putting good, out good. a song. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm putting yeah, out a song. This is the first time I've said this. Yeah. I'm putting yeah. out a song called Cool. Yes. I'll send it, I'll send it to you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. When does that drop in? Um, Probably early September. And then... Can you spell out the moniker, the halo? It's like, how is it spelled again? H A Y L E A U. Oh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There you go. And then you're dropping a music video? Um, I want to. Uh huh. Music videos are hard. Yeah. I feel like, unless you're like a but huge artist. But it's just in so because I'm independent. It's just so. I'm independent expensive. too, dude. I filmed a video well, on we my Can iPhone. we shoot a music video in here? Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, y- I'm sorry. if it doesn't come out the basement, it's coming out the attic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, dude, you could do. You could do. Technology is crazy now. You yeah, can do whatever you want. I gotta just do it. There's a lot of people. I mean, I can probably hook you up. There's. I've interviewed people who right there. They do music videos. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. And they could probably do it for a good, you know, a good fee. You know. Yeah. Um, and you don't. Um, what's the name? Of so it's cool. Uh, it's called Cool. Can we d- what the so the con- uh, so uh, do you want to talk more about like how'd you come up with the idea and everything? Um, I was betrayed by a person who did something unforgivable to me. Cheat. And I wrote the song Cheating. about that. Really? Yeah. And is this fresh or when did this happen? Uh, it feels it happened uh, just over a year ago. Can we can we air them out or what? Oh, I wish we could, uh, but okay. I'm playing the long game. Yeah, yeah. And okay, you still. I'm gonna wait for my revenge years from now when you think I forgot about it. <laughs> oh, you're gonna you're gonna get some revenge. No, the, honestly, the song is like it sounds so cheesy to be like the song is my revenge because yeah. I've never written anything that felt that way. But then after I wrote this, I was like, fuck, that felt so good. Fuck these people. So it's therapeutic. Totally. And it's about him. Yeah, it's Do about s- two people. Oh, okay. I knew both of them. What? I knew them both. So one of them's you, one of them's him. No, one of them is a friend, and one of them is someone who I was very close with. Oh. Yeah, it gets dark, you guys. It gets Damn. dark. Damn. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. Now, do you want this person to listen to your song? Yeah, she will. And then she will. It's a she. Yeah. And then when she listens to it, will she know it's about For her? sure. She'll know. Yeah, for sure. What? Because there's. Certain, <laughs> so I was kind of scared to write ref- it, and then I was like, "Fuck that!" Because there's certain it. references. Yeah. Towards only she'll know. Oh, that's. I think she'll because there's something that there's something that I said to her that I say in the song that I think she'll remember. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. You shouldn't have done it. You shouldn't have done that shit. You you done messed up. Yeah. Karma's a bitch. Yeah. You'll get yours. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're writing your own song here. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Don't, yeah. You like, don't you love writing? Yeah. I love it. But love I it? also, v- I feel like it's hard to break through um, just writing uh, surface level bullshit. And then sometimes I write stuff that's really personal. But and then I get the scared. Stuff. But then I'm like, but no, no I can't stuff. say that. I can't say But it is the best stuff. It's the best stuff. Yeah, it is. And you never know. It could help someone. Yeah. It helped me. So I feel like Put it out. Well, so when is that officially dropping? When, when I is think... It? When's First cool dropping? Week, September. He's pressuring me to give it eight. September, the first Thursday of September. <laughs> I if I have a calendar, if anyone has a you calendar, the first Thursday of You need of to September. release that. Get it off your chest. Yeah. Get it out. I'm going to get it out. Hey, so was that easy? Yeah. Okay. Good, yeah. good. That was, that was cool, right? It was chill. It's great. Super chill. Can we plug um, some of your stuff, your social media? Um, Sure. My yeah. social media... Uh, my Instagram. Yeah, do it. It's um Halo. Yeah. H a y l e a u, and then my last name Law L a w. Okay. Yeah. Website? Oh, I have a TikTok now. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's Hello Halo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spelled the same. 
Um, oh wait, is it or is it just Halo? I can't remember. Um, check it out. It'll yeah, pop check up. it out. I'm not um, sure. Thanks for tuning in, tuning in to another episode of the Steve Weeby Show. If you want to help support the content, go to patreoncom slash Weeby. Dude, I started an original Stevie's original fart beats, where people submit their sum, they submit, submit their, their farts. farts. And that's I put sick. it in my sampler. That's and I cool. was making fart beats. That's sick. Is that's pretty original idea, huh? Yeah, that's sick. So definitely check that out. Yeah, you I don't know. You I gotta, might make have it. Have you a put it on Spotify or something? <laughs> make a fart jam. <laughs> you have to. It's, it's a vlog. It's just a vlog. I think you need to make a fart I, album. I really don't know what I'm doing. I mean, yeah. you know what you're doing. Well, Farts. it's like I didn't really. I'm. I'm not. I haven't perfected the. You, know. you have to do it because there is a, a, a Spotify song. Well, it's not song, but it's a one hour of farts. And I always take this little speaker and I hide it and I crank one hour of farts when people are around just to fuck with them. And you could be getting those plays. Well, farts? Fart yeah. beats? They have that on Spotify? Yeah. Oh, I got to hop on it's that. It's one hour of farts. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'll show you after this. Stevie, uh, YouTube.com slash Stevie Weeby. Um, yeah, check out that that fart vlog, please. Um, I do uh, another podcast uh, with uh, comedian Jeremiah Watkins uh, called Scissor Bros. Uh, those episodes drop every Friday. Um, subscribe to that channel, youtube.com slash Scissor Bros. If you want to send any uh, packages or anything or letters, uh, send your stuff to uh, 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A., California, 90093. Did your friend like me? He, yeah. He, he was... It seemed like he was getting annoyed, like he wanted to leave. I feel like, like he, he was hot. Oh, I could he see. was hot. I was looking, he's starting he start to glisten. Yeah, he started like... Yeah. Like, he's either going to kill yeah, us or yeah. he's hot. But he wasn't, he was having a good time. Yeah. Like, yeah. He's like quiet. He's just like a okay. quiet. Yeah, he seems like a nice guy. Yeah, he's yeah. so lovely. He really liked his Red Bull, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. Dude, that was awesome. Yeah. Halo, go check that out. Yeah, cool. Drop you. it in September. Yeah. <laughs>